A very last chapter in the row of authentication modules is at the end authentication modules and data logging. What is the connection in between? The one or the other may have had the idea why we need so many authentication modules. Of course, because our customers love to have different ways to get their permissions. On the other hand side, the interesting information is very often who was modifying which data in Identity Manager. Therefore, we have a feature of historization. You may have heard about it and you can lock at the end every data change that happens in the One Identity Manager database. Unfortunately, we have to figure out which type of object gets assigned to this change just to know who it was. Think about functional accounts. If you use functional accounts, typically four or five people shares the same account and you have no idea who was doing the change in detail because it could one of these five people we are talking about. To get that at the end, so in Identity Manager, depending on the authentication module you use, different information or different objects gets assigned as data modificators. Let me have some samples. On the slide, you can see account-based system user or system user-based authentication. These guys are system users and, and they will be assigned for any data change. For authenticators like Active Directory-based authenticators, user account and user account role-based, Active Directory accounts will be originators for some changes. You will see the domain and the SIM account name if you want to figure out who was doing the change. For LDAP users, the same happens this time with an LDAP account. Some other authentication modules, for example, like all employee-based ones, the OAuth-based ones, HTTP header-based ones, and as well the synchronization authenticator will use uh, identity-based authentication to visualize their changes in the One Identity Manager database. As you can see, the system authenticators can as well act as a system account. This depends on what type of synchronization connection was built out during the configuration of the synchronization project. Typically, they will act as a person object, but if they cannot act as a person object, they will act as a system account. All the other authenticators, typically the authenticators we cannot use somewhere to log in in the front end, using something that is called the system account and the system account, it's always shown as an abbreviation with S and A. 